Peter Madsen, Wikipedia article audio. Peter Langkager Madsen, born January 12, 1971 is a Danish engineer and entrepreneur. He co-founded the non-profit organization Copenhagen Suborbitals but left it in 2014, becoming the founder and CEO of RML Space Lab APS. Projects Madsen was arrested in August 2017 for suspected involvement in the death of Swedish journalist Kim Wall, who was last seen alive aboard his submarine UC-3 Nautilus. Wall's dismembered body parts were later found in and around the Bay of Kega. Madsen admitted to dismembering Wall's body, and is currently being tried for her murder. Madsen built three submarines UC-1 Freya, UC-2 Krika, and UC-3 Nautilus. The Nautilus is a privately built midget submarine, launched on May 3, 2008 in Copenhagen, Denmark. Constructed over three years, it cost approximately US$200,000 to build. Submarines on May 1, 2008, Madsen CEO founded Copenhagen Suborbitals. In June 2014, he left the project. Madsen was responsible for the launch system, launch pad, and booster rocket engines. Copenhagen Suborbitals In June 2014, Rocket Madsen Space Lab was established by Madsen. The goal was the development and construction of a manned spacecraft. From 2016, RML was developing a nano-satellite launch vehicle using venture investments. Under the title Raket Madsen's Rum Laboratorium Madsen has blogged about his activities on the website of the Danish news magazine in Geniron. Rocket Madsen Space Lab on August 11, 2017, Madsen was arrested after the sinking of UC-3 Nautilus and the disappearance of Kim Wall, a Swedish journalist who had last been seen alive aboard the submarine. The following day, a court ruled for him to be held in pre-trial detention for 24 days on a charge of negligent homicide. Madsen first claimed that he disembarked Wall on land at the tip of Ref Shalane on the night before the sinking. He later changed his statement, saying that she had died on board in an accident, and that he had buried her at sea. According to the Danish police, the submarine was deliberately sunk, which contradicts Madsen's explanation regarding a technical fault. A human torso was found washed up on the coast of Amager on Monday, August 21, which DNA tests concluded belonged to Wall. Chief Investigator Jens Müller reported that the torso had been stabbed multiple times to prevent air buildup inside from floating it to the surface, and that a piece of metal had been fastened to it to ensure its sinking to the seabed. On August 25, Madsen's charge was extended to improper interference with a corpse. Sinking of UC-3 Nautilus and Death of Kim Wall During a hearing on September 5, Madsen stated that Wall was killed when he lost his grip on the submarine's hatch cover, which he was holding open for her, and it hit her on the head, causing a skull fracture and death. On October 7, 2017, Royal Danish Navy divers assisting the police found the head and legs of Wall, along with a knife and pieces of her clothing, in bags at the bottom of Kega Bay, weighted down by bits of metal. A police spokesperson reported that there were no fractures to Wall's skull. Post-mortem examination on the torso found knife wounds to her genitals and ribcage believed to have been caused around or shortly after her death. On October 30, 2017, it was reported that Madsen had changed his account of Wall's death and admitted dismembering her body. 
It was initially reported that he now claimed that she had died from carbon monoxide poisoning on board the submarine, but his legal representation denied this, saying that Madsen did not know how she died. It was later confirmed by the police that he had made no clear statement on how she had died, but had said that she was inside the submarine when it contained exhaust gases. In January 2018, Madsen was charged with murder, indecent handling of a corpse, and sexual assault. The prosecution accused him of having bound, hit, cut and stabbed Wall before killing her by cutting her throat or strangling her. His trial began on March 8, 2018 and is scheduled to end on April 25. Madsen pleads not guilty to Wall's murder.